Hello, welcome back. Um, we've been having so much fun on the server at the moment, and <laughs> we've just we've just added plugins. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last video, but um, we're using there's a whole big list. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for where you can find the post about it on the Minecraft forums. But for instance, uh, we're using residence instead of towny, and we're using something called factions. Um, I don't know. It's all all very new to me. So uh, the town here basically looks the same. There are a few few changes. One of them being I built a subway system because for factions I decided meh, I want to have a base. So this is a. Uh, anyways, this is the subway system, and you go down here, and these two middle rails here, I just want them to go directly to other stations, like have no stops. And then these ones will have like brakes in them with uh, unpowered rails for brakes and you can get on and off and you know this would be the incoming and this would be the outgoing because you know in America we drive on the right side of the road that was a joke at my uh, my friends here a lot of them are British so many of them are British and when we Skype together it's like um yeah um, all I heard was yeah I, I can't understand a word they're saying it's a l it's so much fun um what else do we have here We've got, well, we made some some event things. I don't know if I ever talked about those, but meh, they're okay. They're just something to do really quickly to keep people interested until we got the plugins. But let's go to the faction home, F home. All right, let's load it up here. So this is the Empire. We got some Star Wars, some World of Warcraft, some Pi. Oh, we got some random things. So this is the subway. Like, so... You go to the spawn area, that town I was just in is where you spawn, and then you come here, and then ta-da, you get to see right up there, that's where the, uh, that's where myself, the emperor, sits, and we got some cool shops here, like over here is, uh, the empire block shop, and it just has, like, all the different blocks, like, anywhere from stone, uh, the smooth brick is actually the decorative one, clay, mossy cobblestone, soul sand, etc. Just a bunch of blocks. And then we're also um, in the process of building a weapon and alchemy shop, where it's one of them's just going to sell, you know, different weapons, and the other one's going to sell, um, what do you call it? Oh, like ingredients for potions, and then potions. Then over here, with the residence mod, you can rent stuff out, like rent little rooms. And so, the Empire Inn, I'm going to, uh, like, members of the Empire are can rent a room here like uh, the design for this is you'd have a chest here and a chest here and, and then you know you could put some furnaces in here but we used world edit to copy and paste it so we didn't put any chest or anything in there and then we uh, we wanted an arena so we found this one online imported it in and uh, changed all the stone to sandstone to match the house there and it looks pretty nice gotta fix it up a bit gotta get the pistons working and it's a really nice arena uh, I don't know where it was, uh, where we call it, or the link for it. I don't, I don't have that because I didn't download it. Then this is also a nice house. Like we took the design from this house and incorporated it into all these buildings here, and it's a pretty nice complex. It, uh, it's pretty big. We can go all the way up here, and uh, chunks slowly loading. Ever since the update, I can't use far site far, so. Anyways, yeah, there's like a barn here, farm, some animals, and then a nice garden, except it was uh, put into a snow biome here, so it ruined the hedges. I mean, it, it looked really nice. And what else did we add? Anything? That's it so far. So we're just making, like, this is the Empire base, like I said. Uh, we've got a couple other factions, like the Federation, which is supposed to be Trade Federation, but it's uh, longer than 10 characters. We also have the Rebels, and then we have Iron Forge. We have, like, Cool Dudes, which I don't know what that's about. And then we have Pi. Actually, can we just do F list? Yeah, the Chaps. And then we got Argos. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we have so far for faction lists. We have MCMMO, and we have Jobs. Uh, what else? Uh, essentials. Yeah, we got essentials, even though no one likes essentials. Because someone said, and I agree with them, when you have a, 
a plugin that's supposed to do everything, each individual part of it sucks. Like, if it's supposed to cover chat and protection and uh, world protection and chests and shops and I don't know, just like when you want a, one plugin to cover all this stuff, you know, it's not going to be as good as a single plugin for a single thing. So that's why some people don't like it. What else do we have on here? I don't know. We're just been building and having fun. Um, griefers, not don't like griefers at all. Like the forum posts that we do, you know, it says you know no griefers, you will be caught. And the truth is, you know, they always do get caught because every time someone logs in, like a new person, it'll say you know welcome to the server because you know it's the first time they logged in, and then everyone who's online just like watches that person like a hawk. I mean, it's just like, you know, people are just so not into griefers and thieves. Like, we banned two people already today just because, you know, they came in and they, you know, they tried to break some stuff. And it's just like, um, yeah, why why would you waste your time doing that? That's what I don't understand. Why would you waste your time going through forum posts, finding random servers, just to go and break some blocks before you get banned? I mean, I guess if that's what you're into, if, you, you know, you like you know, 30 seconds of fun. I guess, you know, you like 30 seconds of fun. Oh, and I also, hee <laughs> hee, being, uh, being an admin, I, uh, was having some problems using too many items. Like, I have too many items here, and it doesn't work anymore, and I still don't know how to fix it. So, like, if I want to spawn this rose, I get this message, you know, the specific enchantment cannot be applied to this item because all it wants to do is apply protection 4 to it. So, like, if I spawn, I can spawn these. All right? And it gives me, look, protection for. And so I tried to get enchantments, like, it's an essentials thing. And I don't know how, it to st how to get it to stop doing that. Like, and I've tried, and no one knows. I've Googled, and I don't know what, but apparently I just can't put the words together correctly to get a good, good post. And so, anyways, I got another plugin to deal with enchantments to hopefully turn that one off. And so I got this ridiculous ridiculous enchanted stuff like you can see here I got protection unbreaking fire protection fortune feather falling up to 127 and like that's not even all the enchantments on it it has every enchantment you can get up to 127 same with my sword and all my armor so basically if I got out of creative mode I I'd one shot anybody and they wouldn't ever be able to kill me it's it's pretty funny um, although I don't participate in PvP or anything, because that would be totally unfair to have someone that can't die in it. So it is it is actually fair, in case anyone was wondering about that. And also, the shops here, um, it's true. Um, someone asked me about my last shop I did. Um, I do use you know the creative mode or whatever to put items into the chest, so I don't actually have to farm them. However, the prices are so ridiculously high... Um, it's just to encourage other people to make shops. Like, if there's no one else selling this item, you know, you can spend a ton of money, you know, to get it. But, you know, we would want players to make their own shops. That's why, you know, the prices are so expensive. Like, diamonds, um, I only sell them in block, and they're just like, I don't know, I think they're 10,000. Which is quite a lot, considering you can buy, I don't know like a plot of land about the size of this little park that probably costs a thousand so I mean you can get a lot of land or you know nine diamonds for for a little bit of money um the money system right now isn't exactly working or it's not it's not where I want it to be I'm um, like this is my first time you know dealing with the back end of a server because the my friend that owns it he really uh he's not really doing anything so I've just been working and trying to figure it out and it's not been it's not been doing well. Every time I think everything's all nice and copacetic, someone some new person gets on like, oh, this is a cool feature. And I'm like, wait, what? Like earlier today, you could type slash oh, what was it? Kit tools. All right, and see down here, I was given three tools: a wooden axe, wooden shovel, and wooden pickaxe. Well, before it was giving diamond shovel, diamond pickaxe, and um, diamond whatever the third one was. I didn't say. And I was just like, oh, God. And so it was basically a race to, to fix that before too many people, you know, uh, spawned them and then sold them, spawned them and sold them. Only one person actually kept spawning and selling them, and the, her money has been taken away. Well, most of it. She had she got only about 15000 
before uh, I fixed it, and then so I took you know about thirteen thousand away, because you start off with a thousand. So I, I was nice and gave her an extra thousand. Um, we are really flexible with uh, with like what you can do. Like basically, the rule is you know it's common sense. And, you know, do unto others what you would want done to you, or whatever that old saying that dead people used to say. Um, with some exceptions, like if you're out in the wilderness and you come across someone of an enemy faction, you know, go ahead, feel free to kill them and take their stuff. I mean, that's the reason we have factions. But, I mean, you don't just walk into someone's house, like, let's go to spawn. For instance, um, like in the forum post, if you click on the link and read it, some of these houses, like this house right here, was built before we had plugins. And so these, this chest right here has absolutely no protection in it, see? And this person, her name was Rivi Rivi, she had a ton of stuff, and it's since been, you know, it's since been looted, because she hasn't been on in quite a while. And there's still some chests, like some people that can only play like once a week, and you know, we haven't had it a week, like this guy. This home was griefed by a bowtie guy, and all others, yeah, bowtie guy is gone. He was caught grieving way too many times. People steal from like this guy's chest, because it's got no protection on it, because he hasn't been on in a while, he's on vacation. And so, the common sense thing is, you know, don't walk into someone's house and steal stuff. And at the moment, you know, everyone has basically taken a rule where if you walk into someone's house, um, you know, like right here, stay out or face death, except for Nat, which is myself, or Jordy, guy that owns it. And for the most part, like, this door right here, it says right there, notice, that private wooden door is locked, okay? So, I can open it, but most people can't. But if you do find yourself going inside someone's house, like if you break in, um, they're probably going to kill you. And not only are they going to kill you, but everyone else is going to gang up and kill you as well. Let me check League of Legends real quick. Someone invited me. Who was it? Nope. Someone invited me to a game, and I don't want to play with that particular person at the moment. I'm mad. They let me die. So I'm QQing about it at the moment. Let's break that. That looks better. Um... Yeah, we got we got some stuff to take down. Like before, we had uh, plugins. We had these things, bunkers. They were bunkers that I made, and uh, they'd have people's stuff in them. Like let's say this guy, all that he had was bread in there. I since moved everything in this bunker was moved to this bunker up here. And by bunker, I mean it's just completely surrounded by bedrock and then covered, you know, with something that looks better. Let's see, Scruffy Puppy. He's got some stuff in there, but I don't think he's gonna join us. He, he's one of those people that, you know, griefs half the time, but then does nice things. Like, he built this whole path, like he, uh, well, not this part, Jordy did this part, but he built all this stuff and, like, connected everything, built a fountain, and that's his house there. I mean, he did a lot of nice things, but on the other hand, you know, he, he stole from people, he, uh, killed people. Like here, it says, uh, violators will be killed on site. Felons are as defined by anyone living inside walls. Very loosely uh, translated, um, if we want to kill you, we're going to kill you. No felons beyond this point. And so we had uh, one person living here, one person living here, and then that was mine, and that's also mine. And then this person, oh, this person makes me grr so much. He's another, no, he's Canadian, not British. Um, this kid, I mean, he just builds the most ridiculous things. Like, on our last server that we were playing on, he just, I mean, I don't know. It's like someone threw up, vomited, and then, yeah. It's basically how he builds his houses. And I think you can, I don't know if you can put protection on gates, but I don't think you can. So, anyways, um, let me log out here, disconnect, go to multiplayer. This is our old server. No one plays there, hardly ever. And because it's, uh, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, no one's online on this one. So this is the server IP address. Um, you're welcome to join. Remember, if you do grief, which we have a lot of protection against that, or if you try to cheat, also have plugins for none of that. You know, we will find out and we will ban you. And you know, don't get the idea like, ooh, I got an email. Always Zelda for everything. Um, we will if you do manage to break something. You know we are going to use creative mode to fix it and it doesn't take us very long because we fixed things so many times before we had plugins so don't get the idea in your mind like oh well, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to you know I'm just going to get my little 5 minutes of griefing in and then it's you know it's going to be absolutely terrible because you know 
it's it's not going to work that way. It, anything is easily fixed, and you know you can always just roll back a couple minutes on the server, and uh, so nothing happens. So you know, griefers, just you know, get alive, go outside, breathe fresh air. It'd probably kill you, but I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to do more Minecraft videos, but it's been really slowing down because, uh, well, well, something happened, and now I'm spending most of my time dealing with a specific person in a good way, and so I've been slowing down, sitting at my computer, doing videos, and also the fact that I lost all those episodes. Still, I'm, I'm raging about that, like, I don't know, a month and a half later. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, you can subscribe if you'd like. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. Only got up to 60 once, which I thought was absolutely amazing because it was just going to be for my gaming group. But um, thanks for all the support, and uh, thanks. Ciao.